Okay, so we're just plugging in charger here. And we'll charge it until it's full. Okay, this has been charging for a little while. Now it's showing full. So we can disconnect the charger and get started with the install. Okay, so the battery is located uh, under the floor of the cargo area. Your vehicle may or may not have a spare tire. Uh, the titaniums, I think, come with it normally. And the uh, SC does not. Um, and again, this is to replace the battery in a um, 2020 Ford Escape uh, hybrid. Um, so we'll just take the uh, spare out, and here you can see the battery. And we'll have to remove the battery retaining um, harness, and remove the battery um, leads. Also, we'll have to move this clamp down here to this location to fit the larger battery. All right, so I'm using a half inch socket to remove these bolts. There are four of them. All right, of course it's starting to snow now while I work on the car, but uh, I've removed the cover. Next, we're gonna remove the negative battery cable, which you always wanna do first if you're working on battery before you get to the positive battery cable. So we'll do that next and uh, get, take this battery out. So, okay, so we've loosened the bolts holding the battery cables down and removed them. Then we're going to remove this bolt down here to uh, remove the battery from the hole down. All right, so we've removed the battery. Before we uh, put the new one in, we are going to move the plug for the hold down from the far one to the close one to plug that hole and open the hole for the farther hold down location. Okay, so the new battery is seated in and the hold down is in place. Um, I'm going to keep this uh, acid drain plug here or line here. We don't need to reconnect it because this is uh, a sealed um, AGM battery. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep it in case at some point we put in a lead ba uh, acid battery, say we're on the road and this dies and we have to just pick one up. I want to have that. Um, so, we're just going to get this ready to reconnect our electronics and then um, put the spare tire holder back in. Okay, battery connections are back on. We'll put the um, positive connection cover back on and reinstall the cover plate for, uh, the, for the spare tire.